Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is July 7th. Hope everybody had a good, fun, safe 4th of July weekend. Quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades for the week. So SPX, uh, of course the market was closed half day on Wednesday, closed all day Thursday and then Friday, low volume, but did not keep the S&P from crushing through new all-time highs. In fact, every day, every session, uh, Tuesday, half day, Wednesday, and then Friday, uh, just massive moves that blew through the expected move for the day and closed at their highs, new all time high, 5,570.33 in SPX. You can see here, I, I marked the 2024 expected move, uh, on January 1st and we crushed through that. Um, so just pretty impressive gains to the upside. Uh, if you're a bull, you're loving it. If you are a bear, it's probably causing some tears. Uh, but anyway, uh, pretty impressive move to the upside. NDX, similar price action, just monster up moves Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, half day Wednesday, and Friday, new all time high, 20,407. To give a little context, when I first started trading in end of 99, that was uh, right in the right in the heat of the dot com bubble when the internet stocks. If you put dot com on the end of your company name, your stock just went flying high. Kind of like if you say you're into AI today, not <laughs> not too dissimilar. But I, I, if I remember right, Nasdaq peaked around five thousand and then dropped down below a thousand. If I remember, let me, in fact, let's, let's just take a little stroll down memory lane. Uh, let's see. 2000. Okay. Yeah, here we go. All right. So NASDAQ, yeah, peaked at un, a little under 5,000 and then just absolutely got annihilated. Yeah. Went down below a thousand. So, and now the NASDAQ is at 20,000. Crazy. Craziness. All right. So that's, uh, a little trip down memory lane, but uh, Russell pretty sideways for the week. The Dow pretty sideways for the week. So, you know, you've you've probably heard and, and seen a lot about the concentration of this rally is in just the really the magnificent seven. Uh, S and P is is kind of flat to down for the year. So, if you didn't hold the the Mag Seven in your portfolio, then you're probably pretty mediocre if you're a uh, you know, you're a buy and hold investor. So pretty crazy stuff. Gold up week, silver up for the week, notes and bonds up, 10 year yield down, settling in at 4.275. Oil continuing to grind higher, natty gas sliding lower, soybeans up, corn kind of choppy to up, and wheat kind of choppy to up. Euro up, pound up, Bitcoin down. Bitcoin, all-time high, a little over 74,000, dipped below 56, uh, got down to 54,000, bounced a little bit, but settled in a little over 56,000 on the uh, Bitcoin futures. All right, for my trades for the week, uh, let's start with zero DTE, my AM, my three different AM uh, AM iron condors, uh, red for the week, three losers, one winner. My challenge, which I'm not doing necessarily my challenge anymore, but I did have some 1DTE and I think that, yeah, that's it. So uh, three losers on the 1DTE did not do well during those extended up moves for the week. No Ricks, no FOMC. My Rut Hedge, just uh, two of those. Yeah, one winner, one loser. No JSPs, did have a Wooga for 710. Um, no power hours, PM ratio, I had an update iron condor for plus 1500. Uh, price action, I don't, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. So some of my price action, I'll be taking profits and then transforming the rest. So this isn't really a good representative of price action trades that I took, but I'll, I'll talk about my transformers here in a minute as well. 
Um, my quad 40, which I'm no longer doing, but I did I did do one uh, for plus 1,500. I don't think I did any Ricks. Yeah, no Ricks. No O2s. And then other 1DTEs. Uh, I did three other in a different account. Obviously, all losers as well. And the 2DTE, uh, one winner, one loser, but... Uh, I did, um, I did transform another one too, which I'll talk about, uh, no dynamic butterflies, no calendars that were closed. I did open some new ones on Friday for next week. Uh, I don't think I had any ducks. Yeah. Uh, options selling. That's not closed yet, but I, I booked partial profits on that one. And then lastly, um, so for my um, Transformers, Iron Condor, Magic Mahomes, some Unbalanced. Had some decent profits here. That, that's actually not, not right. Um, that's actually going to be closer to 8,000. And so here's what I did. So NASDAQ, Unbalanced Condor, Small Profit. Uh, this was one of my two DTEs where I closed um, uh, I closed half and then transformed the rest and hit hit ma max profit there. Uh, that was a loser. S uh, that was a small winner. I'll just go so Mahomes for plus twenty two hundred. Here's where here's one where I closed half of a price action trade, transformed the rest, book six sixty. Here is a an unbalanced condor that I mismanaged. I just I let it go too far. So unfortunately, that was a fourteen hundred dollar loser. That, that's that's a big thing with these transformers that you have to negate. Is you know if they start breaking out of your range and just you know letting them go too far. So I've done that a couple times. So that'll be a focus of just cutting those loose for smaller smaller losses when that does happen. Uh, here's a 1DTE. So you saw that I had three losers for 1DTE, but here's one that I ended up, that's not classified as a 1DTE, but I transformed it. Uh, and so that was for plus 1,600 almost. A couple of their small winners. Another Mahomes for plus 2,000. Another uh, Price Action Iron Condor for plus 2,000, where I closed two of the five and then transformed three of the five. Uh, and hit max profit on that. This one, uh, these ones that are, these two are why there's a discrepancy here. This one will end up being a plus uh, tw over $1,200 winner. That was a, another two DTE, closed half and hit max profit on the upside iron, uh, on the upside condor. So instead of being minus 3,000, it'll be plus 1230. So that's a $4,000 difference. And then this one has not settled yet either. So this is a Mahomes that I'll book 2,000, not 9,000. So again, that'll be about eight grand as far as the actual return once those options settle out. All right, that is all I got. Have a good rest of your Sunday. We'll be back at it tomorrow for a new full week of trading. Cheers.